Uh, hey guys, this is Yugi again, and uh, today I've decided to show you the new Warrior Strike Structure Deck that came out, and uh, yeah, uh, it came out like a week ago or more than that, I don't remember when, but uh, in case anyone hasn't got it yet, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you it, uh, maybe you'll change your mind by buying it, or you'll want to buy it more, or just... I don't know. So I'm going to go through it and show you all the cards. Uh, you get uh, one ultra rare and two super rares in this deck. And it comes with 18 monsters, 15 spells, and 7 traps. So I'm going to get started and show you the high stars. Um, the ultra rare is uh, an 8 star. It's Phoenix Gear Freed. He has 2,800 attack and 2,200 defense. And uh, it's a Gemini. So you have to summon it again to get this effect. Um, when your opponent activates the spell card, you can select one Gemini monster from your graveyard and special summon it. Also, you can send one face-up equip card you control to the graveyard to negate the activation of a spell or trap card that targets a monster on the field and destroy it. So, its effect is okay. Um... Uh, since it's a Gemini, you have to sacrifice two monsters and then summon them again. So, it's kind of hard to get on the field when I was uh, using it. So, yeah, that's the first high star there. Then you have Freed the Matchless General. It's the only other high star you get. 2300 attack, uh, 5 star. Um, negate, the active, negate the effect of any spell cards that target this card and destroy it. So yeah, that's pretty good. So it can't be targeted by spells. And um, you can add one level 4 or lower warrior type monster from your deck to your hand instead of conducting a normal draw phase. So, or your normal draw in your draw phase. So yeah, that's okay. But Then you yeah, have, this is the other hollow you get. It's Advocator Chevalier. It's a four-star Gemini with 1,900 attack. It's a high attack, um, beat down mostly any other four stars that people are using. So that's pretty good. You have Feather Riser. It's the other hollow you get, two-star. Uh, it's Spellcaster. It's not a Gemini. And when it's destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can send one Gemini monster from your deck to the graveyard and draw one card. So that's pretty good get to draw. Then you get two future Samurai four stars. Um, they're Gemini monsters. They're pretty good Geminis. 1,600 attack and um, uh, you can normal summon them again to get their effect that they um, you can remove from play one monster from your graveyard to destroy one face up monster. So that's pretty good. Destroy a ton of monsters with. You get one spell striker. You get one for field commander Roz. Or, yeah. Um, he's pretty good four star. Um, 1,600 attack. He's not a Gemini. And, uh, when he's normal or special summon, you can select one level four or lower warrior type monster from your deck. Except field commander Roz and place it on top of your deck. So if there's a certain warrior you want to get real fast. Uh, you can use this effect. Then you get two Blazewing Butterflies. These are pretty good cards for Gemini decks. Um, they're Geminis too, so you have to get their effect again. And you can tribute them to fetch someone one Gemini from your graveyard, uh, except themselves. And so, um, yeah, and that Gemini monster, you special someone from the graveyard and gets its effects. So this is a really good card to have in Gemini decks. You get two of those. You get Gemini Soldier. It's one of the newer cards. Um, he's a Gemini. And once you turn, if it would be destroyed by battle, it is not destroyed. And if it battles, after damage calculation, you special summon one level 4 lower Gemini monster from your deck, except another Gemini Soldier. So that's a pretty good card. You have Gemini Summoner. 
Dark Valkyria, good for destroying monsters, it's a Gemini. You get one Marauding Captain, one Card Trooper, it's a pretty good card. When it's destroyed, you get to draw one card. You can uh, send three cards off top of your deck to the graveyard to have it, to have it gain 500 attack until the end phase. For each card uh, you send to the graveyard. So it have it has 400 attack now, so it have 1,900 attack until the end phase. So it's pretty good. You get one DD Warrior Lady and one Exiles Force. And another DD Warrior. Or, I mean, you get DD Warrior. And then that's all the monsters you get, guys. I'm going to go on the spells. One Swing of Memories. Especially someone one normal monster from your graveyard and it's destroyed during the end phase. Burden of the Mighty. This is a really good card. This is one of the this is probably the best spell card you have in this, get in this deck. Um, each face up monster your opponent controls loses one hundred attack times its own level. So it put out puts down your monsters uh, your opponent's monster's attacks. It's a pretty good card. This is one of the also the better ones. Uh, you get one mind control. Takes control your opponent's monster. You get one Divine Sword Phoenix Blade for an equip. You get Unleash Your Power. Your uh, Gemini Monsters gain their effects. And during the end phase of this turn, uh, well, all Gemini Monsters gain their effects. Um, and during the end phase of this turn, set all monsters affected by this card's effect. You get one Mystical Space up there, one reinforces, Reinforcements of the Army, you get a Warrior. I don't know how to say this really, it could Bio Drachmord. This is actually a pretty good Equip card. Uh, it says, the Equip Monster cannot attack, destroy the Equip Monster at the end of this controller's second turn after this card is activated. At that time, this card is returned to the owner's hand. So you can equip this to your opponent's monster, then their monster cannot attack, and it's destroyed uh, during the uh, se uh, second uh, end of their second turn. And, um, yeah, and then you can add this back to your hand and do it again against one of your other opponent's monsters. So that's a pretty good card. You have Hidden Armory. Um, you can send one card from the top of your deck to the graveyard to add one equip spell from your deck or graveyard to your hand. You cannot normal summon a step between you have to take this effect. If you want to get equip cards really uh, easily, use this. You get double summon, you normal summon twice. Big bang shot. Um, yeah. Supervise. It's basically like your, your equip card and your Gemini monster gains its effect. It's basically what it does. And you got Symbols of Duty, Silent Doom, Nightmare Steel Cage. Okay, this is onto the traps now. You get Birthright, Justy Break. This is a really good card uh, for um, for Gemini decks because uh, activate only when your opponent's monster declares attack against a face-up normal monster you control. Destroy all monsters on the field except face up attack position normal monsters. So that's a pretty good card. You have Gemini Trap Hole. Uh, I say only when a Gemini monster that is treated as an effect monster destroyed by battle. Destroy all monsters your opponent controls. It's kind of like a mirror form, except <laughs> after your monster is destroyed. And you have Soul Resurrection. And then a separate two armor, showing your attacking opponent's monsters. Then you get Kunai with Chain. This is a pretty good card, actually. Um, uh, you can choose one of uh, one or both of these effects that it has on it. Uh, the first one is activate only when your opponent's monster attacks. Change the attacking monster to to defense position. So you can it's like a Book of Moon kind of except it doesn't flip your opponent's monster face down. And you can pick the effect to equip this card to a monster you control. Uh, it gains 500 attack. So 
uh, you have your monster gain attack and change your opponent's monster to a defense position. So that's a pretty good card. And the last one, you got Dark Bribe. Um, this is one of the, this is probably the best card you get out of this deck. It's worth the most, probably. Uh, you can negate the spell trap card in your opponent activates and they draw one card to counter trap. Uh, so yeah, it's reason, probably the reason I bought this deck to get this card. <laughs> So yeah, that's the whole deck, guys. Um, I don't, I don't think the deck's that good. But if you want to buy it just to get some of the cards in it, I would do that. But I think there's been better uh, structure decks that have been out. So, but if you're trying to make a basis for a Gemini deck, I would go ahead and get it. But yeah, overall, it's it's okay, not really that good. So yeah, that's the deck, guys. And uh, I'll hopefully have some more videos. So.